City of Springfield says there is an end in sight for the downtown construction work. Elizabeth Van Mitri joins us from downtown with the reason businesses say more needs to be done, though, than just finishing construction. Elizabeth. Yeah, Paul, if you can tell, there's quite quite a bit of construction behind me. It makes it difficult to walk around downtown, but for businesses around here, it's detrimental. For example, this is Lucky Time Chinese. They just had their grand opening a few days ago. Here's the problem, Paul. If you want to eat here, good luck getting there because if you walk this way towards the front of the building, there's no way to get through because it's all roped off. Lucky Time Chinese had its grand opening four days ago. Their balloons, decor, and opening specials. The only thing missing is customers. It's very frustrating. I mean, it's, business is dead. The restaurant offers a lot of menu options, and the location on Jefferson and Walnut is great. There's no, you know, you can't get access to it. Customers can't get through the front door. The sidewalk down Jefferson and even at the entrance of the restaurant is completely impassable. The only way to get here is to park up Walnut and walk if you know that the new place is here. Right now, it's very hard. We just, you know, there's nothing we can do. New businesses are struggling due to construction, but they're not alone. Diagonal Prairie Pie says it's feeling the pinch. I, this is the first time ever that we've recorded no growth um, for our business, so that's... I think that's a correlation. The owner says she was originally told it would be a couple of weeks, and now it's been a couple of months of construction. Those hoping to grab sweet or savory pies will find it hard to get here easily. It's a huge deal Prairie Pie would like help with. We have like 20 plus parking spaces directly on the street that we've lost, um, which in downtown, that's a huge deal. For now, these business owners are trying their best to stay afloat and rely on the community to really pull together for downtown when the road finally lets them pull up. So I did talk to the city of Springfield. This is all supposed to be done between July 31st and August 4th. Reporting in Springfield, Elizabeth Van Mitri, back to you. Thank you, Elizabeth.